How to look up street addresses in Garmin Basecamp with OpenStreetMap. This is Basecamp 4.7.4, which is the current version at the time of this recording. And the OpenStreetMap data image I'm using is OpenMap Chest 2023, February 17, which was acquired from OpenMapChest.org, United States which gives me the whole thing for Basecamp. I have covered how to install this in previous videos if you want to know how to do that. Now while I do have the Garmin map here, this one concentrates on the OpenStreetMap, but it does apply also to the Garmin map. It's the same thing. So how do we look up an address in Basecamp street address? Well go all the way up here to the little magnifier and you got some little itty bitty buttons here ordinarily the one that is has a border around it is for points of interest we uncheck that so there's nothing here and what you want to do is click the little envelope by the blue envelope icon right and then click on advanced and here we go. Okay, we're going to search an address here. I will use a Duncan 3201. Now it is on El Dorado Parkway, but I'm just going to type in El Dorado. And it gives me a whole bunch of choices, which does include Parkway, but I'm just going to leave that out. And if it brings up this list, just hit your escape key to get out of there. In the city of McKinney. Escape in text. Oops. Escape. And that's it. Now, unfortunately, there's no go button here, but I can just press enter at this point. Okay. Is that it? Yep. 3201 El Dorado McKinney. And I'm going to use my mouse wheel to zoom in by scrolling up. And zoom, 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 zoom. There it is. Now, while true, as I can see right here, Duncan is in fact listed as a POI. Unfortunately, in the OpenStreetMap image, it doesn't show any address information, but it does show the um, actual Duncan there, which is nice. Now, some of them do show the actual address information. Now, we'll just do one for a POI here, so I'll back up a bit, uncheck excuse me, deselect the blue envelope, and this is a POI, so I'm going to put a border around this one, and I think I can do it from here, H-E-B, yep, there it is, yeah, that H-E-B actually does show, let me just zoom in on that, that one shows the full address, now bear in mind this is a community map, as in communities volunteer to edit OpenStreetMap, and you can too if you want at OpenStreetMap.org. Now if I get rid of this, and I just see that little icon and click, and then the little triple dot there, I can go ahead and I could add this as a favorite where it says uh, look, create a waypoint at selected results. So if I click that little red flag, it will put it over here. Then later on you can plug in your Garmin and send all your waypoints over if you so desire. And that is how it works. Now you'll notice that as I zoom in here it's not showing addresses or anything, but the thing is the Garmin map I don't think shows it either. Well, I'm trying to show it. Alright, let me back up a bit. City Navi, there we go. Yeah, it's not because Basecamp doesn't do that. They are there. They are there. Oh, and you'll notice something that, yeah, we see the HEB in all the parking lot stuff. This is a new store that was built under a year ago at the time I record this, but it is not. I mean, it is listed. I believe it's listed in the Garmin map set. Let me actually try that. No, it's actually not but it is listed in the 
open map chess database. Yeah. It's a reason to use OpenStreetMap because it is more up to date. It really is. Now, of course, the drawback to using OpenStreetMap, as I've said before, on a Garmin device is that if you have traffic in use, it won't work because it's expecting Garmin, as in a map data provided by here, formerly Navtech. Um, and if it doesn't have that, then the traffic doesn't work. So, eh, drawback. Also, the most of the speed limits will not show either. Again, that's a here map thing, whereas OpenStreetMap will not show it. But, but, if you don't use traffic reporting and you actually read signs when it comes to speed limits and such, then you can totally use OpenStreetMap and you'll get the latest and greatest stuff most of the time. Because as I showed a moment ago, sometimes it will list the POI but not the address, and sometimes the address but not the POI. You'd have to download it and check for yourself whether it will work for you or not. And you can use both, just not, not both at the same time. Because then you get map confusion. Not you get map confusion, but the Garmin can get map confusion. So if you're going to use OpenStreetMap, just make sure it's the only one selected in your map data and don't use both the Garmin map data and OpenStreetMap data at the same time because like I said routing weirdness happens so you want to avoid that but now you know if you just want to search an address here get rid of that start with the little blue icon and highlight make sure yes you can do multiple here of uh, oh and by the way that red one is just if you have a bunch of uh, waypoints or you just want to search your waypoints alone and yeah there is Yelp does it work it does sort of I don't use it if I want to use Yelp I'll just go to yelp.com for that anyway easiest way to do it is just to use one at a time or one in any instance of search so we just have that one then do your advanced search here get all your stuff find your address mark it as a waypoint if you want plug in your garment afterwards and over the waypoint if you want oh I on a final <clears throat> excuse me on a final note if it is searchable here in base camp that means it also can be found on the Garmin if it's got the same map data that is in base camp so if you want to check does it know where this address is if the answer is yes and you can successfully find the address in Basecamp, you will be able to find it in the Garmin. Pretty cool.